Addison Lee is proud to sponsor the Ancient World in London series. And you draw the sword like this at the enemy. And that's how they do it. last video in our Ancient World in London series. We have had a crack in three months and here are a few of our best bits. One of our first adventures was running around roaming London with Ian Smith who showed us that there's a lot more to the city than meets the eye. If you go on the, to this gravel over here and, and just sift around for half an hour you'll find bits of Roman pottery, you'll find clay pipes. Yeah. I'm Nicole Favish and I've absolutely loved my ancient London adventure. One of my highlights has got to be Hadrian's Wall. So we headed up on the train to Carlisle to see Hadrian's Wall and everyone told us it was going to be freezing. So we wrapped up really warm and headed up there. I'm here at Hadrian's Wall, the edge of the Roman Empire. Behind me are the Romans, in front of me the crazy pits. I'm a Roman legionary. I am his slave girls. Mm. Yeah, we are Roman reenactors. We're chosen to be um, uh, one of these illuminators. As you can see, it's still sunlight here, so before the sun sets, I'm going to scoot around and find out as much as I can. So there I was a boy, I did... In the day, it looked really good, but when night hit and the whole wall was illuminated, it looked absolutely spectacular. Opened up my mouth. We were told fantastic stories about Boudicca by Mark Hassel, who really knows how to spin a yarn. Taking a spear in her hand so as to present an impressive sight to everyone, she spoke as follows. If you weigh well the strength of the armies and the causes of the war, you'll see that in this battle, you must conquer or die. This is a woman's resolve. As for the men, they may live and be slaves. And Debbie Chalice gave us the lowdown on the birds and the bees in ancient times. Our idea of when people should have sex has changed. If you were a Roman man, then you could afford to have love affairs and write love poetry. But for a Roman woman, for example, it would be very different. It'd be different again if you're a slave woman. I'm quite glad that I live today and not in the Roman period, as I probably would have been married off at the age of 14. Um, to a much older man. And then Natalie took us off to Barb's Bar to see the Roman Barbs. I heard that um, some people compare baths like the equivalent of brothels. The bath in Rome that uh, has erotic wall painting, the activities there were um, morally questionable. My best adventure has got to be Stonehenge. I had no idea what to expect, but let's just tell you, let's just tell you, does that make sense? <laughs> Check this video out. So I had to wake up at about 4 o'clock in the morning and when I arrived I heard drums, I saw druids, I hung out with some druids and there was a lot of chanting. So I thought, why the heck, let's get involved. May there be peace in the north. May there be peace in the north. And while we were at Stonehenge we revisited some old friends. In ancient times, the Druids were the inheritors of a much older tradition where watching the sky and knowing when you are in the year and being part of the natural cycles was really, really important to the people. And with Jamie at the helm, we set out onto the open sea in search of the Moors of Sea Forts. Six weird looking towers that helped defend London during World War II. All the men are running across the gantries, running to their stations. The guns start firing, the searchlights light up. You imagine all the noise and mayhem, the cheers when they finally get the planes and the German bombers crash into the sea. See London from the river, I can really understand its draw. Over the course of the series, we've been urging you to take part in our many challenges, quests and events in exchange for points. Now it's time to cash in those points and see if you've won our star prize of a trip for two to Turkey. Yay. 
To see if you are our lucky winner, visit the URL below next Friday for the results. We've had a great laugh making these videos and we hope you've enjoyed watching them too. So I guess it's goodbye from the ancient world in London. <laughs>